I'm here in Cancun and everyone told me not to go to Villa Tots because it's very dangerous. It's a place near to Cancun but they told me not to go there. But I want to go and see how it is. Amigo, ah. Villa Otoche es peligroso. Villa sí, hay, pe hay peligro allí. Quiero ir allí, por favor. ¿Vas allí también? No, por Villa no estoy. ¿Y dónde voy ahora yo? Quiero ir a Villa Otoche. Villa Otoche. Sí. No estoy bien aquí. No estoy bien aquí en este... No, porque yo no voy a ir No voy a ir aquí. Entonces, ¿me dejas aquí? ¿Qué hago? Sí, Agarra los 259. ¿Otro? Ah. ¿Cómo dice? ¿Dos? 259. ¿O camión, otro? Otra igual que esta, pero dice 259. ¿Dos quinto? 259. 259. Gracias, amigo. Oiga, que también tiene long place. Voy a Villa Otoch. Villa Otoch vas. Sí. Vale. Y dice 79. 79, vale. Chao. Me, they laughing with me because they say it's very dangerous. ¿Dónde va? Villa Otoch. Villa Otoch. Es peligroso. ¿Por qué? Villa Otoch. Villa Otoch paraíso. Paraíso es lo mismo que es el otro, no paraíso. Puro balacera y ya balacera. ¿Qué es balacera? Ah, vamos, venga. Vamos. Villa Paraíso. Sí. Pero es peligroso, ¿en serio? Sí. ¿Y tienen pistolas? No. Gracias, amigo. Hey, sí, man. Villa Touch Paraíso. Sí, ahí están los amigos. Entrevistas los de allá. ¿Son de aquí ustedes? Villa Touch peligroso, amigo. Si sí, yo voy con la cámara así. Bueno, es la salta. Voy a robarme, ¿no? Sí, yo creo que sí. Ah. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Taking the small bus, the cumbi, and we go to Villa Otoz. Because Cancun has two sides, they say. The one, the touristic side, which are all the hotels and the tourists and the resorts are. And there are other neighborhoods that it's full of narcos and people are selling drugs and they have guns and shit. But I don't know. I'm sure that's gonna be a funny place. Because bad things happen to bad people. I don't think I'm a bad person, so I think we'll be fine. Let's see, I'm excited. Villa Otoch. I think we are close to the place. Man, I love the music here, man. Me encanta esta música. Que pone él. To be honest, this place is a bit weird. It's a bit dodgy. But that makes me more excited. Man, I love those small cumbis, man. Because always the door is open. You can have fresh air. Man, they say this is the thing that they kill and yeah. Sí, pues es que no, no, no están ahí juntados y que te digan, mira ese mazo está así, no. Él nunca va a saber quién fue. Se bajan a la fuga, ponen moto, ¿no? No sabes ni dónde salieron ni dónde se van. Se te matan y fui. Sí, sí, sí. No es una banda ahí que llegues y te, te lo buscas, pero algo. Mira, esos viejitos. ¿Te gusta, no? Baila morena. Baila morena. Baila morena. Mira, entonces. Mira, es el mejor camión. ¿Te gusta? Atreve, atrévete. No te, no te de sexo. Hoy está no. Hoy, hoy es noche de sexo. Na, 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 na. Te lo ponemos. Puro pereo, men. Ese es el cumi del pereo. Pereo intenso. Pereo hasta el piso. Hasta abajo. Pereo. Eso, men. Madre mía, men. This is the best motivation before I go to the dangerous place. Hola, ¿qué tal? Fuck, man. Ay, 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 man. 
Gracias, amigo. Puro reggaetón, man. I told you, I love reggaetón. El viejito, man. Pim, bro. Brian. ¿Y tú, el tu papá? Cantado, amigo. Vamos, let's see, guys. With reggaetón music, no one ever lost. There's no way I'm gonna be robbed today with this music. Let's see, I'm pumped, I'm pumped, I'm pumped. 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 Even the whole bus is empty. It's only me, like four more people. But I'm motivated from the song now. ¿Qué es Pamelas, amigo? ¿Qué es Pamelas? Como favelas en Brasil. Pistolas. Puro narcos. Cartel. Hay varios carteles acá. So now, guys, we're in a pure cartel zone of Cancun. And they call papeles because of the gun. Ay, man, look at this place, man. Guys, this is in Cancun, right? This is the Cancun you watch on YouTube and on the movies. Pam, para pam, 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 para pam, pam, pam. Man, this place is very poor, man. I can see it. Look. And it's like favela, man. Wow. Vale. Perfecto, señor. Muchísimas gracias. Si me roban, no hay video. Gracias. Hasta luego. So now, guys, basically, I just entered the Villa Otozzi, the most dangerous place of Cancun. A place full of cartels, full of narcos, and papeles, which is called bistolas. But let's see how it's gonna be. This is the market. This is what we can get here. I really wanna, I really wanna have some food, some cheap food. And of course, I really wanna have some haircut. I really need a haircut, man. A proper Villa Otozzi haircut. Ay. Where is my phone? In my pocket. Oh yeah, it's on my back. Fuck. Hola. Hola. As you can see guys, this is a normal market. Like always. Amigo. Aquí también puedo cortar mi pelo. Más para allá, ¿no? Cortar mi pelo. Sí. ¿Aquí peligro? No. Todavía se va a empezar a poner. Es donde está el... La palmera, al rato venden películas. ¿Hace película ahora? Venden películas, sí. Películas, ah, sí, sí. DVD, pirata. ¿A pirata? Sí. Sí. I'm really, really hungry. This is actually very normal. Calle. Full of shops. Hola, amigo, buenas tardes. Hola, amigo. Ay. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit dead. I don't know why, but you can see there's not so many people. Also, I forgot to tell you that now it's a bit late, and I came here late on purpose. Oh, amigo, ¿qué es esto? Chicharrón. Yeah. Es pollito, no? Huh? Es pollito. No. ¿Qué es? Chicharrón. Es pollo. Sí, pero español también. Right. Yeah. Porco. Yeah. I don't English, mejor. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from here, but I raised, I raised up in North Carolina. Ah. You know, North Carolina? Yeah, of course, man. It's the best college basketball ever, man. Yeah, I lived about 28 years in North Carolina. Ah. You prefer, I just got here last year. You prefer here, the life? Yeah. Why? Uh, yeah, I just got deported, you know. California, no? Yeah, they sent me back to Mexico last year. Ah, they sent you back? Yeah. Fuck. 
Well, I had papers. So you were born, born and raised in USA? No, I was born in USA. I was born in here in Mexico. But then you went for 20 years in... Yeah, I went to the United States for 28 years. 28? Yeah, I, I went to school over there. I had my wife, my kids. I mean, I had my family over there, right? Todo, the family. Yeah. But I got in trouble over there. They sent me, they put me in prison, then sent me back to Mexico. They put you in prison? Uh, North Carolina. Why? Uh, Raleigh for, I mean, I had a, I had a kid, right? Three you, years old, little girl. She passed away. Your, your, your children? Yeah. Your daughter? Yeah. When passed I, away? Yeah, when I took her to the hospital, she died in the way, in the way to the hospital, right? In yeah. the way to the hospital. So I stayed there. They took care of her, about 30 minutes later, they told me she was dead. And then they arrested me nine days later. Why they, arrest you? Why they arrest you? I didn't understand. Because they say uh, she died because of me. Because you didn't go... Yeah, I mean, I, I was supposed to call the ambulance and I didn't do it. And you went by with, with yeah, your I own? Yeah, I just went straight to the hospital. The hospital was about, about, I just say, about five minutes from my house. I went there. When I got there, my, my daughter was there. Then, no way, uh, man. They, they gave me two charges. One because uh, I didn't call the ambulance. The other one because I left my other daughter. She was six months old. You were in the house? And, and, and my former. And your wife? And my wife, she was working. Uh, but what happened to the daughter? Why you, why you went to the hospital? Why you went to the hospital? Well, I went to the hospital because, uh, it's, I mean, I want to do something for my daughter. But what know? happened to your daughter? What happened then you want to go to the hospital? Uh, she was, uh, when, when, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, when, when, when I went there, I mean, she got sick, right? She started throwing up. Throwing up suddenly, out of nowhere? Yeah, I went to, I went to pick her mom to the, uh, to the babysitter. I went to the babysitter, the babysitter told me she was, she didn't, she didn't want to eat. She was sick, right? And then, but then, but I would say like 10 minutes later, she was like, like kind of choking, right? She, ate, she ate eggs and ham. And of course, man, you go to the hospital, what are you going to do? Are you going to wait for the ambulance? You go to the hospital, that's the most normal thing you can do. I just went straight to the hospital, I didn't call the ambulance because I didn't want to uh, lose But what, what was the, the reason? What the doctor said? What, what she had? They said she, she died by, by choking. She, I mean, like I'm saying, she, she ate eggs and ham, right? When she started throwing up, she got like, like kind of, like kind of, uh, she, she couldn't breathe. And then? Then I took her to the hospital. When I took, the hosp uh, took her to the hospital, then about 20 minutes later, she, they, they told me she was dying. I mean, she dead. She was dead. Well, I went to the, I took her to the... Esto pasó muchos años antes, no? No te creo, man. Look, believe it or not, they gave me two charges, right? All together, I served 15 years in prison. 50, 15 years in prison? Years. I got caught in 2004. And I got out 2019. And your other daughter and your wife? Look, when I when I went there, uh, when I went to prison, right? I told my wife, you know what? We have, we're gonna have to uh, yeah. get bored because I mean I'm gonna spend a long time in prison. 15 I, years, I, man. You spent 15 I, I years there. Stay with me because I mean you were still young. She was 24 years back then. You were 24 as well. Yeah, 24 both from us, right? I'm 24 as well. You too? 24 now. So in my age? Fuck. And then I got divorced. So, you're in North Carolina in the prison? Yeah, in North Carolina. I was in Raleigh. I don't know, you never heard of Raleigh. Raleigh, North Carolina is the uh, capital of North Carolina. No. Okay. Then, I didn't, I didn't uh, write a letter, nothing. I disappeared completely. From the family? No, nothing. Yeah, I didn't want to know anything about my wife, not my sister, not my family. I just wanted to stay there. You were depressed? Yeah. And then, about 10 years later, I got a letter from my wife. She found me. And she said she got married, she had another kid. And she sent me a picture with my daughter. When I got caught, my daughter was six months old. Now she's 16. Fuck, man. And then uh, I said, well, I'm happy to, to hear from you. you know? Fuck, man. And then she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this is like unfair. You were in prison 15 years and you were feeling like this is unfair, no? Yeah, yeah. And, and look, this is probably different, man. When I got here in Mexico, I still feel like, a, like, like this is my country. You feel what? I feel like this is not my country. Mexico? Yeah, I mean, this is my country. But you don't, you grow but up I'm, in the USA. Yeah, because I, I mean, I grew up in the United States, you know. I spent 28 years in the ah, United States. Yeah. And then send me back here, I mean, I, I feel like, I don't know. But can you, can you go back or no? 
No, I don't want to go back. But, but I mean, I want to go back, but I can't. You can? I can't because I got the profession. They get, they catch me, they, they catch me again crossing the border. I know I'm gonna spend a long time in prison. Again? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, once, once you spend time in prison, right? I don't know, man. I've never been, but it must be very horrible. Yeah, yeah, like I'm saying, like, like me, I'm Mexican. Once you, you finish your time in prison, they're gonna send you back to the country. Really? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're from here, China, or any other, uh, other country. But then, you cannot go back to the United States. Forever, never. Forever. But like, now your daughter is in the United States, your daughter. Yeah, she, I mean, she's there. She's, uh, but she knows you, she met you. Yeah. And she's good. Yeah, but man, I can't believe this, man. I've never heard this story in my life, man. It's hard, man. It's hard. And look, I'm here, I'm here now, and I mean, doing something that I don't really like because I mean, I feel like I'm saying, like I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm Mexican, but I, feel, I don't feel like I'm Mexican because I spent my life in the United Fucking States. Chicharron. Yeah. You just came one year ago. Yeah, about I would say like 14, 15 months ago. And how do you feel after prison? I mean, yeah. when I got out from prison, I feel like you know. Freedom. Yeah, but it's still freedom. inside, you know, it's still... Yeah, but once they sent me back to Mexico, every everything was totally different. In Mexico? Everything. Everything. You can trust somebody here. Here? You don't trust? You can trust somebody, yeah, I'm everywhere. I see somebody steal my, my wallet or something, you know. This place is dangerous here, no? Villa of Tots. Yeah. Por qué no vas en Oaxaca, Chiapas, es más tranquilo? Or in Cancun, the zone hotelera. You speak English, man. You can find yeah, everywhere job there. I mean, I man, you still have American accent. You can make so much tips there with the zone hotelera. You have American accent. I don't. They don't. They... It's crazy, man. But you know, man, I'm that's here. insane, bro, man. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say, man. Like I'm, I'm saying, shocked. I spent 50 years in prison. You met there many people, killers, rapists, everyone. Man. everyone. Rapists, killers, all kind of people, all kind of people. You never believe. And you did nothing, you did nothing. You, you never no, killed no, anyone, no. You, you never like robbed anyone. You never... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. When, when I was about to get out, about a week, a week before I got out from prison, my wife, my ex-wife told me, right? Ay, perdón. ¿Cuánto le damos? Tiene 40 pesos, eh. Yeah, she said, uh, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a surprise, you're gonna get something. For Father's Day, right? You get money? Yeah, no, I, I just what I was thinking. But then, right, day, day after, Father's Day, I got, I got a visit. You got a what? I got a visit, right? I visa? Visit. Yeah. A visit? Yeah, a visit. I didn't know who was gonna, who, who was gonna visit me. So I was ah, when you're in the prison, you go yeah, to visit. Yeah, in the prison, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know who's gonna come? Yeah, yeah. Then, when I saw, I saw somebody, right? He was a girl, about 50, 60 years old. I didn't know who was, who was gonna visit me. Then uh, I saw someone waiting for me. Say, who came to visit me? You didn't know, you had no, no idea? I didn't know because I, I never saw my daughter in 15 years. I didn't know her. She was six months old when I got, when I got caught. Then I saw my daughter and she started crying. I said, what do you cry for? She said, you are my dad. I said, who are you? She said, I'm Stephanie. Are you Stephanie? Uh, yeah, she said, I'm Stephanie. I'm, I'm your daughter. You, you, daughter, you didn't cry? Man, I started crying like... like yeah, crazy. me too, man. I'm not ready to cry, man. Yeah, Fuck. she was crying too. Of course. Yeah. You know, I, I, yeah. I saw her after... Like the movies, like the movies, man. It's not like... Yeah, I saw her after 15 years. I mean, 15 years later, she was six months old. And then 15 years later, she was about to be 16 years old. Man, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say, man. Man, if you now make something better and succeed, you make a movie. Man, <laughs> man, if you spend the next 10 years do something yeah. good, when you be 60, it's gonna be a movie. <laughs> no, honestly, man, now, yeah, man, you... I know, man. How was the judges when you went to the... They were against you completely? They don't. They didn't listen to you, nothing, nothing. nothing. You know, the, the person, my, my lawyer told me, you know, you, 
the first time you have to see you're Mexican. So the lawyer told you what? You're Mexican, so that's yeah, bad. You, you are Mexican. Everyone is gonna be against you. Everyone against yeah, you. Because you're Mexican. So. But you went to school there. Yeah, yeah, I went to school. I mean, I did everything in the United States. Like I'm saying, I, I, I'm Mexican, but I don't feel like I'm Mexican because I went to school over there. Uh, I rose up in the United States. I did everything in the United States. I had my money, I had my house, I had a good job, I had Paying everything. taxes, everything, everything. Everything, man. I, everything was paid. So that accident happened. So they see passport Mexicano, Mexicano. Yeah. Mm. And they, they, they're I'm thinking that... You know, look, look my skin, I'm, I'm, I'm Mexican. And then what they did, I mean, they say, you're guilty, you're gonna spend, you, you're gonna spend 15 years in prison. Go. Once That's you, it. One, yeah, once you finish your time, you're gonna be deported, sent back to Mexico. Man, how did you feel when they told you this? Man, I felt like a, like a hit kill me. I feel like they want to kill myself. You got the suicide thoughts? Yeah. In prison? Prison. Fuck, man, I cannot even, I mean, I cannot, man, I cannot even relate, I cannot even like, I cannot, I just, I want to cry because I cannot even like understand you. I can't, there's no point. It was crazy, man, it was crazy. I mean, Thanks God, I'm here, you know, I'm still alive. Oh, thanks to you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to you, man. You have you have strength. Now. Man, that's insane. What can I do? Nothing. No, but you are smart. Just wait, that's all I have to do. Wait. To see what happens in the future. I have to be strong. I don't know stuff, bro. I just try not to get in trouble. That's it. Fuck me, my heart, bro. Yeah. Man. <laughs> man. Man, I don't know what to say right now, man. I don't know what to say. Man, toma esto, no? Toma. Ah, you're good, man. You know? Thank you. Man, appreciate it, man. I love you, man. I don't know what to say, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Man. I don't know what to say. I feel empty. You listen you listen this man's story? 15 years in prison. When he was my age. And then they tell you. There's equality. Everyone is the same, no matter the color. Oh, some things are so disgusting, man. So disgusting, some things, man. It's, I don't know what to say. Again, I feel no danger. I'm disgusted. That's unfair, man. That's unfair, man. That's unfair, man. That's unfair, man. What? I perdon. What dangerous people? What dangerous place in Mexico? What dangerous place in Cancun? What? This guy was, this guy was born in United. Fuck, man! I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say right now. Guys, I'm shocked. I just don't know what to say. You saw this guy. You clearly saw this guy. I don't even know where I am right now. Provet, Samir. Man, he spent 15 years in prison, man. Because he was trying to save his daughter. And because he was Mexican, they said 15 years in prison. Just like that. I'm sure it won't, it, man, it, it, man, it wouldn't be the same, man. It wouldn't be the same. I'm telling you. It wouldn't be the same if, if it wasn't Mexican. I'm telling you. And now he came back here and he feels completely a different person. Yeah, guys, that's a, that's a dangerous place, man. No one. Guys, Mexico, come on, man. Come on. Piss me off, people say Mexico is dangerous, they will kill you, they will rob you. Look at me here, I'm, way, I'm, I'm walking around in the dangerous place of Mexico. And no one gives a fuck about me. Okay, man. <clears throat> Guys, I'm sorry for that before. I'm a bit emotional. But yeah, let's keep going. And see what we can do here in the dangerous altered place of Cancun. As you can see, the market is nice. It's similar to every other mar any other market in Mexico. 
la barbería. Ay, looks good. No, aquí hay mucha gente, ¿no? No, nada más, dos personas faltan. No. ¿Y cuándo cuesta aquí? Depende del tipo de corte. ¿Cuánto cuesta el corte, no? Eh, normal de 50. 50, ¿no? Sí. Y ustedes son como para, para ver, todos, todos tienen la camisa y todo, ¿no? Parece como, pro, parece como pro, pro, profesionales con la camisa y todo. Sí, man. Son profesionales. Sí, man. Aquí hay peligro, ¿no? Aquí hay peligro, ¿no? En la noche. Ah, en la noche. Sí. Ahora no pasa nada, ¿no? Ahora no. Está tan día que no pasa nada. Con día de las 10 para adelante. Peligroso. Oy, man. No, muchas gracias, ¿no? Dale, man. Chao, man. Of course at night it is dangerous, but you can see that during the day everyone is cool. Pizza, madre mía, me gusta. Everyone is chill. Of course, I don't recommend to anyone, neither myself, to come here at night because they're selling drugs, people are like killing each other with the cartels. But now, as you can see, it's like any other Mexican mercado. Fresh food, good people. Guys, I don't know why, man. My energy is so bad, man. After this story of this guy, I don't have any energy to explore and, and you know, mess with the people. I'm really sorry for these guys. Guys, I'm really sorry saying doing this to this vlog. I'm really sorry for doing this in this vlog, but I just can't, man. You know me. I go. I like going to the market, speak with the people, exchange energy and vibes. But right now, after this story. I feel so bad, man. I'm telling you the truth right now. I cannot keep it up. I cannot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Full of mess here. As you can see, people here are living in those houses that have zero culture, zero style. They built those houses back in the days, 50 years ago, when they were building to when they were building the Cancun you know today. So Cancun, you know, today, it's for us, the tourists, to have fun. But all the workers that are serving you and me, they use and still live here, on the suburbs, on the suburbs of Cancun. That's why all the houses are look so dodgy and ugly. But let's keep going. Amigo, para cortar mi pelito, si voy por allá en la avenida, hay mucho, ¿no? Ah, ¿tienes un poco de agua? ¿Tienes un poco de agua? Sí. Por favor, amigo. Hey, guys, I'm very, very thirsty one more time. Bueno, amigo, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Quiero un poco de agua, por eso. ¿Qué? Sí. Me dijeron que no te vas allí, es peligroso. Mira, perfecto, man. Me dijeron que no te vas, te roban, te matan, no. No me gusta Cancún, es Grigolandia, man, Grigolandia. ¿Sí? Aquí es perfecto. Mercadito, buena gente, y el bebé. Amigo, muchísimas gracias, ¿no? Muchísimas gracias. Yo soy de Grecia. De Grecia, sí. Grecia, sí. Grecia. ¿Ustedes? De acá, de acá. De aquí, ¿no? ¿Viven aquí? Sí. Amigo, muchísimas gracias, ¿no? A Lucía, aquí enfrentito está. Perdón. Allí, ¿no? Madre mía. No, hasta luego, ¿no? Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. This is the most dangerous place. This is the most generous place in Mexico. I got free water. And you saw it. Oh my god. Like this bus. Weird situation. So let's find guy now. Let's find the place where I can cut my hair. You see guys, all the houses are similar. They're so ugly, so ugly, man. That's why it's called papeles. It's like similar to favelas in, in, in Brazil. I guess so. All the gangs are here, all the cartels are here. But during the day, it's just fine. Look, kids are playing, kids are playing. Cars are destroyed. This is the real Cancun, guys. That's the price when you're building those huge resorts 
Of course, you gotta have cartels, drugs, because there's demand. Tourists want drugs. That's why all this place is dangerous. Because tourists want drugs. Guys, back in the day, this place was pura selva. Amiga, aquí hace 50 años, pura selva, no? Sí. Eso, digo, eso digo en la cámara. Era pura selva, no? Pura selva. ¿Y ahora? Ahora nos han quitado el oxígeno puro. Nada, no? no ¿Ustedes son de aquí? No. Eh, mire, es que es... ¿De Yucatán? De, Tab de Tabasco. ¿A Tabasco? Sí. No fui. Pero Tabasco está peligroso ahorita. ¿También? Sí, está muy peligroso como para que, que ande ahí usted. ¿Aquí hay peligro por la noche? Sí, papi, aquí sí. Mucho, ¿no? Sí. Mucho, hijo, mucho, ni te ¿Y por los niños? ¿Peligroso también? Sí. Aquí. Pero no, no van a caminar en la calle por la noche, ¿no? No. Y tú escuchan como bam, boom. Sí. ¿En serio? Sí, papá. ¿Por la noche escuchan un bam, sí. boom? Sí. de día? No. Sí, ¿A dónde? ¿Como todos los lugares? Sí, pero ten cuidado. Mucho tú puedes caminar en la calle y te matan. No. Pero no, no, no te matan porque quiere matarte, porque está caminando en... Por la feria, por la lana. Los, eh... Platero. Entonces no van a matar a ustedes, solo si están en el peor lugar, solo si están en mal lugar, ¿no? Puede ser también, o por ejemplo, o por si, te ven, eso, si te ven el psicotraje en tu mano, para ellos es... Ah, con la cámara. Sí. Pueden eh, matar con la cámara. Sí, pero... Mejor la pongo dentro, ¿no? Ah, ¿De Grecia? No. Grecia. No, quería ver aquí porque esto es México. Rico... Cancún, no no telera, no es México, es una mierda. No sí. tengo ni idea. No, no, soy un gringo, no, soy de Grecia. Aquí, de Grecia. Yo tengo mi camarita y ya. Ah, ah bueno. Muchas gracias, amigo. Sí. Suerte. Ándale, gracias. Gracias, amigos. Gracias, right now, I'm inside the hood. The hood. I couldn't go further, guys. I cannot show you something more real rather than being in the streets where the houses are of the people who live in Villa Otozzo. Music, music, music. Number one thing you know about Mexico, man. Provecho, amigo. Para cortar mi pelo, allí. Quiero cortar... Vi, vi antes allí, ahí. Si voy por la izquierda, ahí, ¿no? Provecho, amigo. Me, yo llegué aquí porque me dijeron que aquí es peligroso y mala gente, pero la gente son increíbles. Fui al mercado, increíble. No me gusta Cancún, ¿vale? No, aquí, 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 A la izquierda, ¿no? Encantado, amigos. Gracias, ¿no? Yes, guys. Hola, amiga. That's it, guys. My SIM card is full. I couldn't empty it, so I have five minutes left. So. Anyway, I don't even want to do this video now with a haircut because, guys, wow. Anyway, man, I will stop the video here. This is, guys, here I am, all alone, Villa Otozzo, the cartel place of Cancun. That's the price the society pays when they're building a huge resort paradise as Cancun. You're gonna have this ugliness, you're gonna have this dodginess, you're gonna have the danger, but the people that live and work, the majority of them, are good and kind. That's the result for me. I really hope my friend Alex is gonna have a better life in the future. I really hope he's gonna meet more times with his daughter, and I really hope he will finally do something more and motivate more people while experiencing the same thing. Life sometimes is just unfair. But that's it, man. See you and ciao. Thanks for watching. Me here solo in Villa Otozzo.